One of the new features of SimCenter Test Lab Neo 2306 and higher is a new signal generation method. Traditionally, when we analyze data, we might grab a time history, we would put it in the input basket, and we would have some methods to analyze it. In this case, I'm going to calculate a modulation spectrum and a normal Fourier spectrum of this signal. I'll hit Run. And if I look at active analysis, I can see here's the spectrum of that signal. And then I can also see the modulation spectrum. Now, looking at this, it's not terribly obvious what the modulation spectrum is trying to tell me. And this is where a method like the signal generation could come in handy, where I could create a artificial signal to understand what a modulation spectrum indicates. So I'm going to remove these connections. I'll grab the signal generation method. And by the way, for the signal generation method to be available, you have to have under File, Add-ins, you have to turn on the interactive analysis. And in signal generation here, I can say I want to create sound pressure waveform. And I want it to be a 500 hertz sine wave. And I can tell it I want that name of that data to be 500 hertz. That way I know what it is. And I want it for a duration of 10 seconds. I can connect this up then to the modulation spectrum and to the regular spectrum. Hit Run. And I get this message. Results of some methods are not saved. Run the process without these methods. I'll say yes. And it calculated everything. And now I have a spectrum of my 500 hertz sine wave. Looks like it's very close to 500 hertz. I also have the modulation spectrum, which doesn't tell me too much. I also got an orange box around this input method. When you use something like signal generation to create data, you really don't need this method unless you really want to analyze the data that was in there. So I can delete it if I'd like. If I need to later, I can add it again. And now I would be able to run this method just with the data that I'm generating from the signal generation. A Modulation spectrum will tell you, if you have two frequencies, it'll tell you at what rate they modulate each other. So I'll grab a second signal generation method. I'm going to set this up very similar to the first one. I'll pick a pressure here. I will set the frequency to 510 hertz rather than 500. Also set the duration to 10 seconds and I'll call that 510 hertz. And then what I need to do is I'm going to combine or sum those two signals together to create a modulation. And I can do that with the calculate method. And I can take these two signals and input them into the calculate method. So I have a 500 and a 510 hertz signal coming in to the calculate. In calculate, I can create a formula. And here you can see for one of these, I got the 500 hertz. I can add another line here because I want to use these two in an equation, the 500 hertz signal, the 510 hertz. I got multiple equations showing here. I can delete one. And now I got two variables, R1 and R2. I can say I want to sum R1 plus R2. And I could even call that sum. And now I will get a sum coming out of here. And that I can analyze with the modulation and with the spectrum average. And I'll hit Run here. First thing that we'll see is if I look at the time history of the summed signals, remember this was 500 and 510 hertz. If I look over one second, I can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
and two halves, 10 modulations per second. So the sine waves are creating a 10 hertz modulation. If I looked at the regular spectrum, I can see 500, 510 hertz, but these are modulating 10 times per second. And if I look at the modulation spectrum, I can actually then see a 10 hertz peak here, which is the rate at which the two signals are modulating each other. Again, their frequency contents actually 500 and 510 could be a thousand and a thousand and ten. But because they're 10 hertz apart, they create a 10 hertz beating or modulation. And so we see 10 hertz in the modulation spectrum. We're able to use these artificially generated signals to kind of give us some more insight into what these metrics are indicating about the data that we have.